my fellow humans, we have a problem in this world. And the problem is cocaine. Too many of you don't know how to cook. And cocaine. And cocaine. Especially Jan. She doesn't know how to cook at all. That was a really bad segue. Co and cocaine. And Jam. And Jam. <laughs> Jam has a really bad cocaine problem. <laughs> she doesn't. Either way, you have me and Brandon here who are both reasonably good cooks. And, uh. I just. I mean, obviously, just look at me. <laughs> so we are gonna teach Jam and you culinary inept people out there how to cook some actual food. So today we are going to make a roasted pork loin and potatoes. Pretty much the easiest thing you could ever make. So I you will need outdoor dash. Yes, just in case. You will need. <laughs> <laughs> you will need three smallish red potatoes. One pork loin, a chef's knife, a sheet pan, some everything bagel seasoning, and a bit of olive oil. Do not drop the olive oil on the floor. It sucks to clean up. Yes. Your floor will never be the same. Uh, so first thing you need to do is set the oven to 375. We did that beforehand because it's uh, ovens take a while to heat up and shit like that and we got to do some the, badass recording. It would have been cool to like record the oven playing music. Yeah, maybe next time. And having a rave. So the first thing you need to do okay. is wash the potatoes, which we already did. Always wash potatoes. They come out of the ground. Also, yeah. already Always wash, wash my hands. all your fruits and veggies because you don't know where the fuck they've been. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to cut the potatoes into small-ish bits, right? We're going about maybe an inch pieces all around. To cut it in half. Yeah, so the first thing you need to do is cut it in half. Slice with the knife. It's got a sharp edge. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> so good. Do, do we need to leave? <laughs> yeah. All right. The next easiest way to do this would actually just be cutting it in half again, the same okay. way you did. This is what I have to look forward to. This way, friends. right? Yes. Lengthwise. Yep. Don't, cut, don't cut your fingernails off. Yeah, just don't cut your hand off. Keep them together. Okay. And then get that one. Something about tucking fingers in. I remember uh, the clock. watching you. The way you're holding the knife is really bothering me. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll get to knife I'm skills. I'm left-handed. Uh, yeah, that's also true. Uh, all right, then cut them crosswise. Okay. I mean, the left-handed wasn't what I was talking about. But that probably Into about right. one-inch pieces. You should know exactly what one inch looks like. <laughs> Maybe. Rude. All right. Got so some? you cut them into about like one inch pieces, right? That's you want them great. you want them to be thin enough to cook and kind of blister up a little bit, but you don't want them to burn, okay. right? Yes. Burn, baby, burn, burn, yes. baby, burn. Don't dance while you're cutting. Yes. Safety first. Also move the vegetable, not the knife. Also don't hold it, point your thumb out like that. Uh, man, we just got to do an episode of Knife Skills. Uh, probably. All right. Okay. Lesson one, knife sharp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you guys, too, like, if you're going to be cooking this, and I understand most of you culinary inept folks out there are not going to have, like, some of the kitchen gear that I have, right? You're not going to have Vustoff knives and really good cheap pans and stuff like that. But try to get something that's a little decent. Um, sharp. Most, at least sharpen your knife because yeah. a fucking dull knife is day more dangerous than a sharp knife. Yes, absolutely. You'll cut yourself on a dull knife before you'll ever cut yourself on a sharp oh, knife. Oh, I gotta do two more of these. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you mean this isn't it? No. Okay. Put these on the wall. There's okay. some underneath the knife. Oh.
open the pork loin. So there are a couple of ways to do that. You can either try to peel the bottom off. No, just do it on the cutting board. It's fine. It's a cutting board. It's just wood. Open it. Well, you said you were going to tell oh, me how so to do it. So there's a couple of ways to do it, right? On the bottom of there, you see that little tab that kind of peel, looks like it peels backwards. You can either try to peel it. Most of the time, it's such a pain in the ass that I don't even bother with it, and I just cut it open anyway. I don't know. I usually never have any problems with it. Really? Yeah. I always do. Maybe it's because I'm strong. Maybe. I'm so weak. OK, and then strong we're putting this on the sheet pan. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't feel bad about grabbing the goddamn pig, man. It's dead pig. All right, now, before you do that, just grab the meat. No, bring it over. But before you do that, grab your olive oil. Watch out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the knife. Be safe with the knife. So put the sheep in, yeah, on top of there. Uh, grab your olive oil. And then you are going to, uh, yeah. So if you're pouring straight from the bottle, the easiest way to do that right, is to put your thumb over some of the bottle and then pour straight down, right? So if jam, you tip the bottle toward you. No. The bottom of the bottle toward you, <laughs> right? That's gonna be your easiest way to pour. I have small hands. Yeah, yeah she does. Um, another way you could do it, right? You could, that's way too much. It's like enough for the whole thing. I have small hands, so the thumb doesn't another cover way you can it do like it is pour it into a smaller container and then yeah. just chisel it. <laughs> yeah, you could do that too. And then with your fingers, right? I mean, before you started all this, you washed your damn hands. Yes. Because that's fucking gross if you don't. Yeah, you, about. yeah, you don't know where those hands have been. But the problem is I do know where those hands have been. Oh, is yeah. it good and lubed? Are they all good and massaged and lubed mm -hmm. now? This is and, a big potato. Yep, now, you can, now you can grab the meat. <laughs> now that you're lubed up, you can go <laughs> grab your meat. <laughs> Life lessons for everyone there. Okay. Grab the meat. Yep. Put it on the thing. Yep. Oh, that's so gross. That's so gross. I don't like touching meat. It's just meat. <laughs> Other way. Pop it down the way you pulled it out. Pop it down. Yeah, that side first, right? Because that's the bottom. Okay. It's, uh, it's the fattier part. So, uh, sorry, is... we have a. Uh, Haboob moving in. Yeah, we have a, a monsoon storm coming in because this is summertime in Phoenix and we need rain so bad. What's uh, next? Are we putting stuff on the potatoes? Yes, you will be putting stuff on the potatoes. Grab Instead that everything bagel oil? seasoning. Oh, okay. This potatoes. thing. Potatoes. Which also I should have covered, yes. right? <laughs> and we then, have not been doing this well. And then sprinkle it, just kind of sprinkle it all over the potatoes really nicely. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Get it all over. So one thing like you Spring. guys should never be shy from is seasoning your food, right? A lot of, a lot of home cooks under season their food a lot. Okay. Uh, a lot of home cooks will under season their food a lot, right? Cause they're too afraid. Well, maybe I'll make this, you know, too much or something like that. Really, you can be more heavy handed than you are. Um, if you're on like a low salt diet or something like that, obviously pay attention to that um, and use less salt, but yeah. like- I mean, pay attention to your salt use anyways. Cause... Yeah, but like chances are from your food that you're cooking, salt's not the issue. It's all the other shit you're eating. <laughs> That solves the issue with. So, no, that all looks good. Yay. All right, now's the most difficult part. Are you ready for this jam? Nope. Put it in the oven. So hard. Don't burn dun, 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 dun. It's a 375 oven. Typically when you cork, cook a pork loin, you'll cook it at like 350 for about 35, 40 minutes, but we're doing it at 375 to blister the potatoes well, and you want to do it for about 30 minutes. And then Timer. check it at about 20. The pork loin just finished. Yay! Uh, 30 minutes has elapsed. End so. of cycle. <laughs> That's what it says. If you want to take that out of there. So anyway, you want to check the temperature, make sure it's done. 145 is your target. What have we got? Uh, uh, right there, 145.7. Mm -hmm. 
leave it there for about five minutes, right? You want to let it rest because uh, if you cut it right now, right, the tendons are going to like lock up and the meat's going to be really chewy and you don't want to do that. So right. you want to let it rest and let everything kind of cool down and soften itself out. And then it is going to taste way better. I do want the food. I would like to no. test which this Which plate food. would you like? The one with the most on it. I don't know which one that is. This it's one? probably the That's orange one. one. Yeah, orange one looks like the fullest. Sure. Thank you. Bring a good special one. I'll take that one because it looks like the you least. You want the fancy one? Well, it's the least amount. Mm -hmm. I would also like a fork so I could eat this. How dare you, sir. <laughs> So what do we prepare first today, Chef? Um, <laughs> we Chef. I got a pork tenderloin, apple something, I don't remember. Uh, apple bourbon. Right in front of me. It is a apple bourbon tenderloin. I totally didn't make that. And then I got the uh, potatoes with the bagel seasoning, which I did chop and put seasoning on. That's good. Nice and olive. tender. <laughs> Pork's cooked well. Potatoes are really good. Nailed the potatoes, the part that I actually prepared. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't just plop it on a thing. Yeah, we're good. It's really good. Yeah. Press, I guess I guess. Impress this is, your loved ones. This is, yeah, this is one of the easiest things you could ever make, right? You just grab a pork loin, throw it on a pan, cut some potatoes, toss it up, throw some everything bagel seasoning on it, and you're or done. Or other seasoning. Yeah, you, you can use any kind of seasoning, depending on what flavors you want or something like that, right? If you get a teriyaki one, you can do some more Asian spice for the potatoes, or you can even do like, like some soy green beans or something like that, right? But it, it all depends on what you like. Barbecue sauce, maybe. You, could, you can well, even... Barbecue seasoning. Yeah, right. You could even get a pork loin that's unseasoned, like completely unseasoned one, and then which do... Nick made on the Patreon. Yeah, we'll actually have that. Um, the video came out kind of weird. It was our first filming at a weird kitchen. Yeah, so uh, this kitchen you can see that too. Started. Like we well, were filming Nick, so it's like cracking out weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's behind the other camera, face focusing on Jam right now. Uh, but He's yeah, like, I can't say anything. This is the part we make fun of. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so stuff like that's super easy. And like I said, it, this costs eight dollars and eight cents, right? Like, too much. it's I would, there's not much you can find in the world for eight dollars and eight cents for food, right? A meal, even for one person. I'm thinking this is about to feed four people a decent amount, right? If you're cooking this for you and your significant other, it'll go way further. And I mean, I can eat all of it myself. <laughs> There's that too, but yeah, no, really good, really good, simple meal, and that's what that's what we're gonna focus on in this series, right? I'm gonna, me and Brandon are gonna keep coming up with really simple meals to it's have, poor, yeah, not cooking yeah, people. to teach Jam me and, and Nick. me, and, yeah, Jam and Nick, who don't really know how to cook at all, how to do things like this and save everyone money and actually cook some good home food and be a lot healthier because. You're eating too much salt. You're eating, like, there are people out there who don't ever use their kitchen at home. And mm. that's weird to me. I don't understand how that works. Well, it's getting worse because, you know, the ability to order anything at any time. Yeah, right? And you're spending so much money to do this and stuff. No, fuck you. You get a film, <laughs> not eat. <laughs> but yeah. Um, you have a cookie ability. <laughs> 
So yeah, guys, if you if you enjoyed this and you want to see more more meals like this, absolutely like and subscribe. And if you want to see more stuff that like how I would how I would cook this, which is going to be a little different, right? It's going to be a little more complicated. Uh, check out our Patreon um, at the lowest subscription level for a mere five dollars a month. You would be able to help us immensely. Um, I don't work anymore, so it helps. Yeah, and uh, and I'll show you how I would I would make this right. And like I said, it's a little more complicated. It's still not gonna be over the top. And uh, you'll be seeing things like this every time they make something. I'll make my version of it and, and stuff like that. Uh, that's only gonna be on Patreon. It's not gonna be on YouTube. Uh, and then absolutely check out our, our merch store so you get to see some of these awesome picker bunch shirts and other things other things tote bags and leggings and mugs Et cetera. Et cetera. stuff like that so yeah uh hope you guys enjoyed it uh and like i said stick around we'll be doing more of this thanks you didn't, you didn't enjoy it either.